two principles. Okay. And said, there are two things that are really important. First thing is that I should be always independent. Okay. And by independence, the, so my mom, of course, meant also independent, you know, from men. She never wanted me to rely, you know, on, on my partner or someone around me. But they also wanted me to be independent from, um, from companies. Kinga Manish is the founder of the Ziva Way, an online consulting management firm serving clients that are on the verge of stepping into full-time self-employment or are planning on bringing their company to the next step. An intuitive approach combined with a background in social psychology, business development and sustainability allows them to educate, guide and empower their clients, creating strategy to organize, grow and develop a path for fulfilled and purposeful success. Now, here's your host of the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show, Sandy V. Terry. She's been all over the world, and um, I'll let her introduce herself, um, but she's really trying to make a big difference in this world on how we really contribute in many different ways on how we make this a sustainable in, in, in a better world for everybody. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody? Gee, that's, uh, that's not easy. <laughs> but, uh, hi, everyone. So uh, again, my name is King Amnich. I am currently living in the US, but lived before in South Africa and Latin America and Europe. I'm originally from Europe. I was born in Poland and grew up in Germany. And um, yeah, this is right now, I mean, my entrepreneurial journey has started, now I have to count, <laughs> yeah, almost 15 years ago. Wow, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm currently, currently uh, starting a new enterprise and at the same time working on a project that I started in 2012 with a couple of friends in South Africa, the EcoBrick Exchange Project. Uh, which I, I can tell you a little bit more about it later. Um, but yeah, I am also rebuilding my consultancy. Uh, I have a PhD in um, social psychology. I'm specialized in emotions and I worked before in, uh, in the finance sector and uh, supporting small businesses and a little bit of bigger businesses and consulting. And I'm trying to right now merge both areas. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. You said that you started with this social psychology, right? And um, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Like, tell us about the root in, in your studies and um, where that entrepreneurial journey really started to emerge within you and actually within your heart. Sure. So, you know, there are actually two separate things um, because I started really my entrepreneurial journey when I was in my 20s. Mm -hmm. Well, actually when I was 20, I just turned 20 and um, just really wanted to explore the world and travel mm -hmm. and at the same time, you know, enrolled uh, at the university and started studying. Mm -hmm. And I had to find a way how to combine both things. You know, I couldn't rely necessarily on my parents and I didn't want to take out loans. That has never been an option for me. I have never taken out a loan in my life. So I had to come up with something that would allow me to, you know, navigate through the world the way I imagined it my life should be. Right. And truly... You know, the source of all of it are actually my parents. Your if parents? I, if, if I'm honest, yes. My, they were my a big parents. influence on all this. Yes. Tell me yes. why. Because they taught me, you know, two principles. Okay. And said there are two things that are really important. First thing is that I should be always independent. Okay. And by independence, the, so my mom, of course, meant also independent, you know, from men. She never wanted me to rely, you know, on, on my partner or someone around me. But they also wanted me to be independent from, um, from companies. They said, like, if you're choosing a job and you want to work for someone, you should be choosing it because you, A, like it and because it, you know, aligns with your norms and values. 
Okay. So they never wanted me to, you know, work for someone just because I have to work. Mm -hmm. At the same time, they always ta taught me, you know, of course, you have to earn your own money, you know, especially if you have big dreams, like traveling the entire world, you know, right. you find a way to do it. So um, that was truly, you know, like the, the source of all of it. Right. Pretty amazing and fundamental principles, right? Yes. And uh, I've been very, you know, um, blessed, blessed in that regard. Yes. And because my parents, you know, always support me. And even if, if I have a bad day and I call my parents and I say, hey, maybe I should apply. Maybe I should just work for someone full time. And my mom and my dad will both be like, um, you are already on this journey, you know, just suck it up, you know, and just <laughs> This is the better way, you know? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so that, that makes a lot of things easier. Right. Um, yeah. So at that point in time, I guess, is when you decided to own your own hostess and personal assistant agency, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. So uh, I was just like looking around and of course, I mean, I was young. I didn't have too much experience and wanted to know, you know, um, I kind of like scanned the market and just looked at the things that would pay me the most. Honestly, this is how I started. I needed like, I was looking for money. Yes. Okay. But not in order, you know, like I was really looking for money in order to be able to travel. Okay. I needed something, you know, that um, could work on a Saturday and a Sunday because I mean, I was studying full time or, you know, something that I could do after, you know, after university or after classes. Mm -hmm. And um, I, well, I grew up in Frankfurt, so we have a lot of international affairs in Frankfurt. And I just started asking around and uh, everyone told me, you know, you have to register your own company in order to be able to do that. Uh, you should speak at least, you know, a minimum of two or three languages. And uh, so I did. And it was just really going around, knocking on the door, asking questions, you know, asking people that were already doing similar things. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, everything just really started to develop. Um, but you never hesitated. Like you were very curious. You were yeah. looking for answers, I guess. Right. That's you were not shy. So sorry, you know, I'm glad that we are recording this. <laughs> um, no, you know what? Um, look, I was four and a half years old when we came from Poland to Germany as refugees. And I think that kind of that set me up for life because I had to grow up as an uh, immigrant in a foreign country, in a foreign uh, culture. And um, a lot of people would close, close their doors in front of me. You know, a lot of people wouldn't want to necessarily interact with me even when I was a child because we were different. Right. You know, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure a little bit that you know what I'm talking about. You know, if you come in and you have a little bit of an accent, you know. Well, I'm an immigrant myself. You yeah. Know? It's like, I know, I know the feeling. Yeah. So I had two choices, you know. I could either, you know, not interact with anyone or I could just say, you know what, it really doesn't matter. If someone t tells me no or tells me this is not how it works, it, it doesn't matter. I cannot take it personal. And so, of course, you know, there have, oh, have, they've been always moments where I would go back home and start crying because something didn't work out the way I wanted, especially when I was younger. Not so much anymore, you know. <laughs> but um, if you don't try, nothing will come around. Exactly. So you have to try it. Then there's no other option for that. I love that. Yeah, that is a really good message. Absolutely. Now, we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below, was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.